Hello everybody. It is Sunday, November 11th, 2018. How are we today? How are we tonight? Wherever you are in this great big world, I hope you're doing all right. So, this is not a video response per se. It's more like a video inspired and added on uh, to Blue Sage the Animated Pagans video, which will be in the description. So check that out. Let him know what you think. Um, he was talking about New Agers and light workers, talking about high vibrations and negativity, you know, keeping you at low vibe and and then working with demons, which are low vibrations, which can come into our world and do magic and shit. Uh, which, <clears throat> I can, yeah, I can say something on that. Whether you believe me or not, that's up to you, but, uh, you know, I can, I can say something on that. <clears throat> He's not wrong. Not at all. Just a sec. Um, but, like I said, watch this video. In the description. Check it out. Let him know. Show some love that way. Um... Now, I just wanted to add on, because when I was watching the video, it made me think about a few things. And I just want to express them here. Because I feel like it's, you know, related. I mainly want to talk about uh, the whole negativity thing. And I mentioned a little bit of it in my last video. How Witch Patrol, uh, they're spewing their hatred. They're throwing that negative energy out into the air. Because, you know, they hate white witches. And everything's the Orishas attacking us and killing white witches. Despite the fact that none of them have anything to do with, you know, Afrocentric magic. Well, some do, but some don't. Neither here nor there. The point is, they're spewing their hatred. They're putting it out there. You can tell this because they're always on fucking YouTube making video after video talking shit about somebody. They're never talking about you know, magical workings to, you know, better their community or, you know, teaching anything. Or even, you know, talking about betterment and all that while in teaching. Teaching without teaching, basically. Uh, Leonard Elmera, Haitian Bacor, Leonard Elmera, he's a prime example of teaching without teaching. You can find him on my channel awesome uh, list on my YouTube profile, or my YouTube channel, under Awesome Channels. And I said that, you know, they're letting their hatred cloud their mind, which is probably why they're not successful, and probably why they're bitching at people 
who are successful. And there is truth in that. There's truth in this. If you let your anger or your negativity get you, it clouds your mind. You're not going to be able to think straight. You're going to make mistakes. It's just going to be a bad time with little to no results. But if you can harness, if you can harness this, if you can control yourself, you have yourself a very powerful energy source. Because, in my opinion, negativity, hatred, these are powerful energy sources. These are batteries, powerful batteries. And if you can harness these emotions you can control them you can put them into your spell work with very successful results uh, my girlfriend taught me a long time ago when we were sparring with swords real swords that if I let my anger get me, I won't win. If I let it blind me, because anger will allow you to go berserk sometimes. Berserker mode, basically. It's going to blind you. You're going to fuck up. You're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get hurt or worse. And there is truth to that. There is truth to that. But if you can control it, if you can master it, you got yourself a mighty powerful energy to put into spell work. And it doesn't matter if it's a baneful spell or I can't say the word right now, but a spell for good. It doesn't matter. That energy being put into that spell will have an awesome effect. Because there's so much energy put into it. The old saying, turn that negative into a positive. I mean, subjectively, subjectively, one person's positive is another person's negative, and one person's negative is another person's positive. So, whatever positive and negative is to you. If it's cursing somebody because... What the hell was that? But just my fucking chair, I guess. Um, it is kind of broken at the uh, footrest. I'm off track there. You don't need to know about my recliner. Um, whatever positive and negative is to you, you put that energy. That negative hatred energy into your spell work. Bam! You got a mighty 
powerful spell working. I'm a man who believes in maximum power. Like doing magic on full moons and super moons and um, lunar eclipses and solar eclipses. You know, I believe in cosmic energy. You know, you got all that. And you slap that energy into it because somebody pissed you off and you could, you know, go berserk and shit or you can uh, be smart about it and take that energy, calm yourself and throw it into it. You got yourself maximum power, which is going to make your spell work pretty damn awesomely. But that's just my opinion, that's just my two cents. Uh, feel free to disagree with me. Uh, before I end this video, I want to talk about the other thing. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I went for a walk earlier and uh, I'm not feeling so hot. So I, I want to talk about something a little bit more kind of bleh on New Agers specifically. Now, I'm not saying all New Age people are bullshit. There are some that are legit. But most of the uh, New Agers you'll see on YouTube that say love and light and all this happy crap and low vibes keep you down and all that. Basically everything said in Blue Sage's video. Again, description. Watch it. Show him some love. You know, my buddy Ian, because he can back me up, we used to take a psychic development class at our uh, local metaphysical store. Uh, the teachers have changed, but the classes still remain the same. When we started, there was a psychic there. We'll call him Mr. Stanley. Now, Mr. Stanley was the real deal. He proved to me that he's the real deal. Like, he proved in a reading... Psychic reading. That he was the real deal. I'm like, damn. Because I've had readings before, and they've always been kind of bleh. But he was 100% accurate. And... I don't want to go into all of it, because it'll make this video long. But if you want to know, I'll make a separate video. Anyway. I bring this up because New Agers will tell you, don't drink tap water because it's contaminated with fluoride, and fluoride calcifies your penile gland, which is your third eye. Which, you know, keeps you from ascending into the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 20th sided dimension. It keeps you from ascending to your higher self. It cuts off your psychic abilities and, you know, it keeps you ignorant and down. 
Well, I'm here to tell you that's fucking bullshit if there was ever fucking bullshit. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not a healthy eater. I eat meat. I love meat. I enjoy it. If you saw my Facebook and Instagram posts, I cooked the fucking pork loin. Second half came out better than the first. Because a lot of New Agers will tell you don't eat meat. It, it keeps you down. Keeps you low. And... I drink tap water. Like right now. I'm looking at a... Half gallon jug of water... That I fill up... When I get low. And I decimated when I was working at Thiesing. I'm terrible at meditating. I can't meditate to save my life. I have to have a guided meditation. I have to have a guided meditation. With an actual person guiding me. Not like a YouTube video. And I can tell you right now. The whole calcification of your penile gland cutting off your abilities. Is bull shit. Mr. Stanley got me. To tap into my powers. Because we're all psychic. Every one of us is psychic. Some of us are more pronounced. Some of us are 50-50, like me. And some of us are dormant. Which, mainly the masses. But he got me, somebody who's terrible at meditating to save his life because I try to stay focused and my mind starts to wander or I go to fucking sleep, one or the other. He got me to tap into my psychic self. And I pulled off some amazing things. Was I 100% accurate? No. Because he admitted that it's okay to be wrong. He admitted that it's okay to get it half right and half wrong. And that's where I was. That's why I say I'm 50-50. Because I get it half right and I get it half wrong. But the point is that New Agers will sell you some shit. They'll tell you some shit. That drinking water from the tap is bad. Eating foods that aren't healthy and clean are bad. When yet, most of the people in that classroom, alongside me, I damn well know we're eating healthy. And yet, just like me, they too were able to tap into this psychic self. So you got to be careful about New Agers. Don't believe in that whole love and light bullshit. Low vibrations and all that. That's just a bunch of shit. You're going to have a negative day. You're going to have a negative day. It happens. That's part of life. But you got to be 
smarter. You gotta be smarter than your own emotions. Because like I said, you let that cloud you. You let it consume you. It's going to eat you alive. And you're going to be wondering how the hell are you making so many mistakes? Why are you fucking up so bad? And that's all I really got to say. Again, that's my two cents. I just wanted to add on to his video. Again, description. Check it out. Um, I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Agree with me? Disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you. Um, be sure to click that little bell icon to stay informed. And all my links are in the description as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go bang my head against the wall to get rid of this fucking headache. <laughs>